Hey guys, Mark Demento here and I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, also hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. So Bloomberg put out a report today, um, basically saying that the um, Gaddick Walmart um, partnership that was formed last year uh, regarding the driverless um, delivery vehicles, they're gonna start rolling those out in Dallas in July. They're going to start uh, with just delivering paper products to Sam's Club's location. So they're going to move paper product from DC, the DCs to 34 Sam Cl uh, Sam's Club's locations in the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. Um, they're saying that it comes at a great time because based on statistics, um, America is short 80,000 truck drivers and it's a 300,000 um, turnover rate. So 300,000 uh, truckers are getting out of the industry every year. So basically this is coming at a great time. They've already um, rolled this out in Bentonville, Arkansas, which is where Walmart is headquartered at. And they rolled that out. They've been doing it in that area since 2019. Um, my thoughts, I mean, we, we knew this was coming. You know, other companies have already been, you know, experimenting with um, autonomous uh, driverless vehicles. And I mean, you figure out companies like Walmart and Amazon, they have the money, you know, to, 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 to experiment and beta test these different projects. And if it's gonna save them money, which it is, um, then they're gonna roll with it, especially at a time like now where you know, I always talk about it in videos, um, scarcity of employment and the industry is just short um, drivers anyway. So, um, I mean, it's a great time. Uh, do I fear, uh, you know, uh, driverless vehicles putting truckers out of the industry? It may happen. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a long time coming. So Walmart is really making it their business to catch up to Amazon as far as logistics is concerned. You know, they're really um, investing a lot into um, catching up to that final mile process, which I feel like um, they shouldn't even be catching up. I think they should have been in the forefront um, in that department to begin with. I mean... Walmart has billions of dollars, and I, I, I know they have an R&D department. I know they have an R&D department. For you, those that don't know what R&D is, research and development. So I know they have a R&D, and that R&D department that was working in the 90s and the 2000s should have been on top of it. Uh, should have been on top of this. And I'm not saying that there would wouldn't have ever been an Amazon, but Amazon shouldn't be number one. Walmart should have always been number one because they were always and, and they were already in place to be number one. Their R&D department, who whatever the powers that be are in Walmart, should have, you know, you know, envisioned or saw what what we're living today as far as you know, um, on-demand delivery, being able to order things online and get them the same day and next day. You know, they 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 had the footprint already um for that business model all you had to do was pretty much put a little money into it and turn it on um but anyway um leave your comments down below i'm curious to know what people think about these um 26 foot driverless um box trucks that uh gaddick and walmart are rolling out um in july in the dallas area leave your comments down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all the upcoming videos. 